Okay guys, um, this is today's video I guess. I don't have to start these things, I'm not like every other YouTuber in this world, but you know, today I'm going to tell you about repentance. Repentance, what is it? It's to repent from sin. It's to avoid it. When you are tempted, you repent. And that truly shows how much of a connection you have with God. At times, you are going to be tempted. The world is going to tempt you with things that you want. They're going to tell you everything you want to hear. But whenever it feels too good to be true, it probably is. So... I just realised something, never mind. So... Repent, guys. Repent. Whenever the world shows an opportunity, whenever it shows you that it has all this money for you, all this fame for you, all the stardom, ignore it all. It is not real. It is all a plot. It's all just something that Satan has created to drag you down. You need to repent against it. You need to fight against him. Put him under your foot. He means nothing to anyone. He doesn't care about your well-being. He just wants to watch you fail. He wants to watch you fall down into the fiery pits of heck. Because that's all he ever wants from people. Don't worship him. Don't bow before him. You only have one God. And that is Jesus Christ. That's the only one you bow to. That's the only one you bend your knee to. I'm going to tell you a story. In the Bible it says that Jesus Christ, you know what he did? He walked 40 days and 40 nights without food. And Satan came to him. And you know what he said? He said, by my, 40 days without food. That's impressive. Well, if you are the miracle worker, if you are Jesus Christ, the son of God, then turn this stone into bread. He gave him a stone and said, turn it into bread. You know what he said? He said that it is written that no man shall live only on bread, but on the word of God. Word of God. So then he said, well, if you truly are the son of God, then jump from this pillar. He said, jump, because then as he said that God will send his angels down and lift you back up on safely onto the ground. You know what Jesus said? He said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. Realising that this failed, he said, went for his third temptation. He said, if you bow towards me, if you worship me, then I will give you everything. I'll give you the world. I'll give you armies. I'll give you your kingdoms. And you know what he said? He said, be gone with you, Satan. He had officially defeated the devil. He did three temptations, and not a single one of them worked. He yet failed. And that's what we need to do now. You know, we need, whenever the world comes at us, we have to say, no, be gone with you. You're not what I need. You're not the important thing in my life. Only one important thing in my life, and that is God. He is the only one I worship. He's the only one that matters to me. Because it said that Satan was sent down to earth. This was his world. This was his world that he ruled. The world is just filled with Satan. It's filled with evil. That's why we have temptations. We have money. We have bars. Whenever We have alcohol. When people say to you, oh, come on, let's go for a drink. Let's go to the bar. If not, If it's not what God wants you to do, you say no. You say, no, that's not what God wants from me. If you got money, well, you say, no, that's not what I need. You help the poor, you give it to the poor, you help them, you do miracles. That is what Jesus Christ did for us. He came down, he helped the poor, he did miracles, and that's what he wanted all of us to do. Love each other, help each other, do miracles for each other, spread the word. So whenever you feel tempted, I just want you to sit there 
and say, be gone, Satan. Be gone from my life. Repent against him. He means nothing to you. He means nothing to nobody. That's why Jesus Christ has him under his foot. He has him under his foot. He's under whoever's feet repents against him. Repent. That's all I'm saying. Repent against him.